brothers, this is Dr. Phil Chavez of the Men's Academy. In Mark chapter 5, verses 25 through 30, which is part of the gospel reading for the 13th Sunday in Ordinary Time, this accounts the healing of the woman with the hemorrhage, who was simply healed by touching Jesus' garment. And so the text reads, There was a woman who had had a flow of blood for 12 years, and who had suffered much under many physicians. She had heard the reports about Jesus, and came up behind him in a crowd and touched his garment. For she said, if I touch even his garments, I shall be made well. And immediately the hemorrhage ceased, and she felt in her body that she was healed of her disease. And Jesus, perceiving in himself that power had gone forth from him, immediately turned about in the crowd and said, Who touched my garments? Other translations simply read, Who touched me? Brothers, let me make two points here. First, the reading indicates that after touching Jesus' garment, the woman was immediately cured. Now one commentator, early commentator, sometimes credited to be John Chrysostom, he says that this power, some translations use were virtue of Jesus, which had gone forth from him, was not anything physical. And this is what he says. The virtues or power of the Savior do not go out of him locally or corporally, nor in any way pass away from him. When Jesus asked who touched me, basically, it was as, as if, the, as the commentator paraphrases Jesus' words to say, that is in thought and faith, for the crowds who throng me cannot be said to touch me, for they do not come near to me in thought and faith. This is what he was looking for, brothers, was thought and faith. This is what separated her from all the rest who physically touched our Lord, which many in the crowd actually did. In another passage, John Chrysostom refers to thought and faith as her frame of mind. Brothers, it is our faith and our thoughts which truly touch Jesus. You know, men get caught up easily in the actions they perform. Sometimes they can be pious actions, very expressive actions, necessary actions. But brothers, it is faith, it is the frame of mind that counts. At least that's what is Jesus finally sees. So for men must focus instead more on interior acts instead of the exterior. And that can be quite challenging, but crucial when properly moving in faith. Now secondly, Jesus knew who touched him. This question, as St. John Chrysostom says, was, as he quotes, to show that with his knowledge and not without his being aware of it, the woman was healed. But he asked, who touched me? Although he knew who, her who touched him, that he might bring to light the woman by her coming forward and proclaiming faith. Brothers, it was very difficult for her to come forward in the midst of this crowd, feeling unworthy, manifesting faith. And likewise, too, in difficult situations, Jesus may call us out among a difficult multitude to proclaim faith when we may feel inadequate or some kind of shame. So brothers, in all your devout actions, take care to move in a Christ-filled frame of mind. Strive to manifest faith even among tough crowds moving through any inadequacy or shame. Brothers, God be with you.